hi welcome to my video you know that i'm not doing any editing yet so this is my little intro subscribe like hit the bell and thanks for coming we're gonna have fun at blessed baubles hi everyone it's sherry with blessed baubles and you know what it's time for it's time to open another biggie biggie so this one is from shopgoodwill.com again this is one of those that I spent some time really looking at the pictures and I really like how they put the fragile sign on the side. That's pretty nice, even though it looks like it's going to bust out of the seams. So whew, I'm out of breath. So even though it's 37 pounds and we did a 38 before, oh my gosh, it feels way heavier than the 38. I don't know why. Maybe because it's in a smaller box than the other? Don't know, but... Oh, it was a lot getting it up here on the table. So, let's see what we got, huh? And don't worry, I'm not going to tilt the camera like I did last time. And you guys were sideways. I had to choose whether the beginning of the video was going to be sideways or the rest of it. So, anyway... Some of you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm scared. What's that? All right, let me get my receipt out so I don't like show any addresses or anything. And they write a nice thank you note, so that's sweet. Okay, this is new. I haven't seen this kind of like stuffing in here before. I don't think it's that great. I'd rather have the bubble wrap. So let's get rid of that. And ooh, let's take a peek. There should be four bags. Because there was four pictures. Pretty sure. So I'll take that one out. And oh my, it's heavy. Maybe there's three bags? There's usually like three colorful and, and I like a gold tone or something. Yep, that's two bags. Oh my gosh. Three. I wish I could show it to you, but I can't hold it in midair like that. But we're going to see all of it. You know that. We're going to see all of it, baby. That's my favorite. I like the metallic. And that looks like Oh, looks like there's some good vintage things in there. I'm excited. So, oh my gosh, I want to give you a peek at the bags. If I can do that carefully here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're very heavy. Wow. This is going to be fun. I see rings, lockets. Nice, colorful things. Some stuff new with tags. Look at the color in that one. Nice. Okay. This guy. Oh, look at those. Pink. Some wooden beads. Lots more color. Look at all those colors. Crystal beads. I think I remember seeing those. Ooh, and I remember that. I hope that's going to be a real one. And lots of color here, too. Crystal beads. Hot pink, red. That looks fun. Look at that. Maybe it's a cuff bracelet. Wow. Okay, and one more to take a peek at, and then I'm going to decide which one we're going to open first. I like the purples. I like that silver tone. Hopefully that's like a, a Brighton, maybe. Let's see some more rings. Oh, my. So, we got to pay up for the good stuff. And you have to spend a lot of time looking at it, too. Isn't that angel cute? Otherwise, it ends up like the last box. So, I'll get my camera set up, 
and eeny meeny miny mo which one do we start with hi everyone i'm reminding you to please subscribe and if you like the video hit the thumbs up someday i'll draw a little hand on there and hit the bell so you'll be notified of the next video because this series is going to take a little bit there's a lot of jewelry here so thanks I wanted to remind you in the beginning of the video, this is a bag I chose while I'm opening it, to please email me for any purchases at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please send me four pieces of information. That would be the video name, the timestamps for the pieces that you like, a brief description of the pieces you like, and the prices. If you send me that information, I'll be able to find your things in a jiffy. So thank you for that. You can also go underneath the title of the video. I'm trying to not make noise while I'm talking. And you can tap on description and it will open up all the blabbity blab that I wrote in there about how to order, how to, you know, send me your information and buy jewelry, um, the link to my eBay store. So all that is in the description of the video depends what device you're on it could be under the title and it could say the word more and then you tap on that word more and it opens up more words and and then you should see the description in there that I've written for each video so I hope that helps Ooh, that's a pretty piece And I also hope you're all having a great day. I'm so glad you're here. I'm really enjoying my channel and the lovely people that have subscribed. It's just been one of the happiest times of my life. So I thank you all so much. Your kindness, your information that you share with each other. It's just really been a blast. Okay, where do I start? Oh my gosh. Okay. It's always fun to get started, but it's also like, wow, where do I start? All right, we've got a stretchy bracelet. Needs a little bath. Where's my wipies? It's really cool. I like how they added some other elements on there. Hmm. But it's a little bit dirty. I think I'll get me a wipey. It's funny because people even ask me what kind of wipies I use because they don't seem to bother the jewelry. But they're just regular Clorox. Some of them are like dollar store wipes. I just like to have them on hand for my hands and then I end up cleaning the jewelry sometimes. So, so far, so good. All right, this is a little bit needs a bath maybe has a little too much wear not sure about it so let's put that aside and you know what that shredded cardboard is making a mess this is cute i love these gold tone um end here and it's like a blue and pink marbly it's it's lucite or acrylic. I got to get all my words rolling today. Oh, what a cute pin. Little Santa, maybe? Yeah. Santa and the tree. Oh, that's really cute. Looks like it's painted on some, like, clay. But I like it. That's really sweet. Santa pin. Not sure what this is. It's not attached to anything. So we'll wait on that. Oh, I see a bobble. This is like um, a really pretty icy light blue teal color. The stretch is great and it's very cute. I like the beads here with all the different angles. And 
yeah, it's really cute. These are probably a metal that's painted with acrylic paint, silver tone, metal on the inside, and yeah, you can see the little tie right there, but cute bracelet. Why don't we break the ice and say $6 for that vintage stretch bracelet? And I'm just going to have to take this guy out because, oh, and this was ne next to it, so I'm not sure if it goes with it. Yeah, let's see what this is about. Everything's a little dusty from that cardboard. Maybe I'll have to tell them not to do that. Wow, this is in great shape. It is probably howlite that's been dyed. And it has the gold ball beads all around. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, maybe it's coral. Like maybe some of that's coral. It is coral. Okay, let me show you. You see the middle of that? That's coral, and so is that. This is a coral bracelet. Some pieces might be howlite, like the round one in the middle. And, you know, it could be dyed coral, but it's coral nonetheless. When I get to look at it closer, I'll know if it's all coral or coral and howlite, but who cares? It is so beautiful. The inside is brown. And it's all like that crochet. Isn't that beautiful? What a bracelet. Wow, I don't know what to ask on this. A coral embroidered bracelet. Beautiful. Wow. So pretty. All right, I don't want to make people mad by taking too long, but gee, I don't know what to ask on this. So if I throw out a number and it's high, sometimes, I don't know, I'll get a note about that. But if I go too low, then it's not good for me. I'll think about it. Better to think about it than make someone mad. Okay, it looks like we have a toggle bracelet that is acrylic. This feels like a piece of stone here, and so does this. Let me have a look at the... The toggle clasp. Let's see if I can see a name. Might be in a different language. Yeah, I think it's in a different language. It's really pretty though. It has the turquoise and coral color combination look to it. And the light blue ones are pretty. And check out that. This is a pretty bracelet for sure. Toggle. All right, let me get a quick measure on this one. And we shall see. This guy's sticking out here. So it measures eight and a quarter. So if you toggled it, <laughs> eight and a half even. So it's a pretty good size. And I will say six dollars on this. It does have some natural stone. Yeah. Some greenish marbled looking stone. There, there, and here. And these are acrylic. So that's a pretty one. Nice, we've got two down. And we have this beautiful glass necklace. Oh, everything's so dusty from that. Okay, is this sterling? It sure looks it. Not a pretty toggle. It's gorgeous, look at the design on it. It's just really pretty. I like that a lot. I'll have to look closely for some numbers. If it says 925, which most of you know, that means sterling silver. But I won't be able to tell until I look in the, in the loop. Someone asked me about how can they buy a loop. You can get them really anywhere. eBay, Amazon, 
Um, I have a couple different kinds. I think I got this from Dr. Lori's channel. It'd be cool to have like a link where if I suggest something um, that I might get a little bit of credit for it. So if you guys know how to do that, let me know because I have no clue. But someone was so sweet enough to ask me, I'm looking through my loop, if I, they said they wanted to buy a Presidium and did I have a connection where I could get a little credit? And I was like, oh, that's so nice that someone would think of me and actually ask me that. So I don't know if this is sterling. Sure looks that I'm not seeing any marks, but I feel kind of rushed during the videos, you know. Not anyone's fault, but it's just something you don't want to sit and keep on doing. Let's look at the rest of it. We have this beautiful red glass, faceted glass, and these other mm, little bit, what do I want to say? A little bit yellowish, um, smoky quartz color. And then those end caps there. So I think what I'll do is I'll just test the metal and see if we have sterling. So let's do that. It's always fun. Bring it in closer. And I'll go very gently as usual. So when you're testing for metal, a lot of times you can tell right away when you're taking your sample, if it's really hard to get anything on the stone, that's a good sign that it's rhodium plated and probably not sterling. But if it comes off like butter like this, then it's a good chance it is sterling, but not always. I'm not trying to say every single time. So then I want to take a look at where I took the sample, see if I see any other colors underneath, like copper or something. And I don't. I forgot where I did this side. Okay, it looks very silverish, but that doesn't mean everything. Let's see what the acid test shows. So I don't usually say it, which I should, that we use 18 karat acid testing for sterling silver because it's just easier. It turns a bright blue if it is sterling. I do have silver tester in my choices as well. It's this red stuff. But it's a little bit harder to use that. You have to use a Q-tip and you have to judge the color that it is. Okay, so it's really hard for me to see under these lights, but I do see blue. Just don't know how much blue. Oh yeah, it's, it's very blue. So that is a sterling clasp, which is nice. Maybe someone came along later and they put that clasp on. I really don't think it's plated because certainly wouldn't have all been blue like that, so. It's always nice to have a sterling clasp on anything. Put my acid stuff away, and let's get back to this. So maybe someone made it, and they put the sterling clasp on it, don't know, but it's a beautiful vintage red glass necklace for sure, with a sterling toggle clasp. Beautiful. And I'm going to say $16 on the necklace. Probably should give you a measurement, right? It's so warm out today. Really, really warm. My hitchhiker. Hi, hitchhiker. And my new friend now, my new magnet to test metal. So it's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Okay. It is measuring 18 inches. That's a good size. Hey, don't you start getting out of focus on me, my camera. That's that. So we got that one done. Next is another bracelet. It is acrylic. 
has different yellow tones to it. I love that. And the little faux pearls. There's always a balance between getting the light right and the camera. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to move you guys around again. Okie dokie. That's good. So, this is like a milky color. It's like an antique gold tone. And let's see what kind of symbols. Oh, yeah, okay. It's got butterfly and a fist and different things on it. So we have this. Oh, I should have checked that first. The stretch is no good. We'll put it aside and see about crafting with it. Oh boy, we have some tassels. These are cute though. They're nice and clean. They're very red. They look a little bit orange on my camera, but they're very red. Tassels are in good shape. Wait a minute, is this one in good shape or is it coming undone? Oh, this one's coming out. So, looks like we have another craft item, which is a shame because I see a mark on there. It says sugar fix. So, I'm sorry, earrings. I don't even know if I should put that in craft. Do people craft with tassels? Don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think tassels should go in the craft jar. And speaking of craft jar, dun da da da. Can you guess the name this time? It's Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Look at your cute little smile. And for all you Amandas out there, this craft jar is named after you. So let's get started with the craft jar Amanda. But I don't know if I should put those tassels in there, so you guys are gonna have to tell me. These are kind of wild. Earrings that are like a rainbow, but a like a muted color. Hmm. They're kind of cool. They are like a rubbery um, fabric fabric. <laughs> They're like a rubbery material. So I don't know. If that's your style. We'll do those for two dollars. And I'll put some clean backs on them. And here's another one in a pink color. That's cute, huh? They're pretty good shape. And I see the other one right here on the top of the bag. But they need a bath. That's what people say here in New England, a bath. My mom didn't say bath, but a lot of people here do. I have these pink rainbow style earrings, and we'll do $2 on these as well. Okay, let's see something shiny. Oh, I gotta get my earring board. So these are like a gun metal, and they're full of rhinestones. They're pretty. And they're full of like a black rhinestone with a little bit of a B color, Aurora Borealis sort of color to them. Yeah, they're like giving a fire of every color you can think of. That's a beautiful earring. Okay, you're going to go wait for your mate. I'm going to hang it on my jar right now because I didn't get my wait for your mate thingy. How could I not get my... Um, styrofoam board. Hey, look at this. It's like a zebra style necklace. Very pretty. And it's from... You guys can probably see before me. You can see before me. White House Black Market. Nice jewelry they have. Someone said they went into the White House Black Market um, store and their jewelry was really expensive and out of this world so that's a pretty piece why don't we say fifteen dollars on that and i will take a quick measurement for you oh how am i going to do that i think i'll just measure this way and we'll have to use our brains to think about what it's going to be because i can't open it up straight and take a measurement that way and if you guys know how to do that how to measure it correctly let me know so it's measuring seven inches from the clasp 
to right here, a little seven and a quarter. So I'm sure that'll help to tell you how to, you know, what the length is. And that's the back, silver tone with black enamel and a zebra print. It looks like there's rhinestones in here, doesn't it? Can you get really close? Yes, there is. All right, that means I'm gonna have to check it out and see if there's any missing. So that's gonna take a bit. Oh, you know, some of them are just little silver bead balls and some of them are rhinestones. So I'll tell you what, I will look at this. I'll put it aside. If there's anything missing, I'll let you know. If you like it and you email me for it, um, I will know by then if there's anything missing. Otherwise, we'll just assume it's in great shape. Okay. Wow, look at this. I think I saw this in the picture. Doesn't that look beautiful? And look at this clasp, too. It looks just like the other one. Maybe it's the same person that made them and they use this beautiful clasp. That's gorgeous. Hmm. Feels very, very cold. I'm gonna say those might be rose quartz and these might be chrysophrase or they could be jade. But you know who we need to ask. Miss Prissy. Miss Prissy's covered with all kinds of jewelry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Prissy. You gotta wake up and come to work. There she is. Probably shouldn't be pulling on this wire. Okay, such an expensive machine. I don't wanna mess it up. Hi, Miss Prissy, how are you? Time to wake up and do your job with us. I hope you'll go watch the video where the eyeballs soon appeared. It was kind of fun that day. I don't know where I got the idea or what happened, but I just stuck the eyes on and, and it was quite fun. All right, so for those of you that maybe are new to the Presidium, this is a gem tester. It's about $250, maybe a little more. And it's able to test different stones and give you an idea of the area that you might be in when you're trying to figure out the stones. It's just a tool. It's a great tool. And it's worth its money for sure. It doesn't tell you everything, but it tells you enough to get started for sure. It comes with this pen, and there's a little sensor on the end of the pen. Little tiny metal tip. And you're supposed to just hold that down on the stone. And according to how hard the stone is, it will read on the meter. So with all that gabbing, let's see what Miss Prissy says this green one is. You don't push it down too hard. You just kind of hold it there and let it do its thing. So yeah, that's in the chrysophrase area. See what this one is the same. There's a couple of different names to chrysophrase too. I saw that today and I thought to myself because I was testing another necklace. I'm not going to remember 10 different names to the stones. If I can remember chrysophrase for now, that's pretty good. So we have green chrysophrase, big hunks of it. And let's see what the pink one is. Oh, the pink is lavender jade. That's lovely. Very, very lovely. Thanks, Miss Prissy. See, she does a great job. Okay, we have this very heavy chrysophrase bracelet. And I guess we're going to have to test the, the um, toggle, aren't we? I do see kind of a mark on the end of it. Maybe the letter. Let's see. I don't know. I don't want to say something I'm not sure of. And I'm sure if I spent a long time, I would find a mark somewhere if it's sterling. But sometimes with artisan pieces, maybe not. 
Not sure. Maybe some of you jewelry creators can tell us that if this is sterling, where would it be marked? And if you order a piece that's sterling, are they marked? All right, let's bring you in so you can see the metal testing. Oops. This is not quite as buttery as the other one felt, but that doesn't mean everything. And then I'm going to look at that place that I tested it. And I do see a little bit of copper underneath, so I don't think I'm going to bother this one. So it's got a nice silver plating, but it is over copper. And see, after a while, you get to know how the metal feels. Well, let's just finish what we were doing. You get to know how the metal feels as you're testing it. My son's coming in and out, so the door is making a little noise. So what happens if it's silver plated and you're doing a test? Well, you're going to see that this turns blue. But you're also going to see that it's not solid blue. There'll be bits of it blue and bits of it that aren't. And that's how you know that it's plated. Also, along with seeing that it's copper color underneath where you tested it. So, hope you can see that. And that sharing the information is helpful. Oh, that's much better. So I think people have to be careful when they're testing things to, um, you know, make sure that you're not doing this quick testing and saying that something is sterling when it might be plated. Important thing is, to me anyway, is that you take a look at the piece and see what's underneath where you tested it. So, okay. Sterling silver plated, beautiful toggle, chrysophrase, big hunky bracelet. It's gorgeous. What a statement piece. The beads all look great, and I'm going to say $22 on this. Nice and heavy. Oh, we have another stone. Well, maybe not. It might be acrylic to look like stone. But when you're not sure, you can always use the Presidium and see if it's perhaps glass. It does move up a little bit. Hmm, but I still think it's acrylic made to look like stone. It's still pretty cute though. Very cute, nice stretch to it. Nothing wrong with it, but I think it should go in the Amanda jar. How about we put our first deposit so for those of you just joining me, I love to build a craft jar while I'm unboxing. The items that, you know, have seen better days can go in the craft jar. And a lot of times I'll put things in there that have nothing wrong with them too. This is gorgeous. It has these beads on it that have foil in them, but the outside of them is clear glass. It's really pretty. I love this deep red and then this coral color red. It does feel cold. I'm wondering what these are made of. So we can look at the side of the bead. If it's dyed howlite, which I don't think these are, we might see some white color. But look what we see in the light. Do you see that seam? That little line right there? So that means these are molded acrylic or plastic beads. So that was easy, but it is made to look like coral. And I do love these art glass beads. They're very pretty. I'm not sure about the stretch. It could use a little help though. So it might have to go in the craft jar. Someone could make some beautiful earrings with these beads here. Oh my goodness. That's some very nice beads. So there you go, Amanda. Piece number two in the craft jar. And you guys know that I always gather things through the week to put in the craft jar. So let's do a little bit of that now. 
Okay, so we have this lovely shell bracelet. Let me see, is there anything wrong with this? I don't think so, but it has a ton of gorgeous glass beads. They're all different sizes. And look at these shells. So nothing wrong with it, but I thought it would be fun. I saved it from my peeps to put in the craft jar for you. So hopefully that will be a lot of fun. What's next? This looks like um, hmm, metal with like an AB color to it. Different size beads. Not sure because I'm seeing some lines on the side too as if they're molded beads. I have to get other things out of the way here so my phone can focus. So I do see some lines in it. I do think they must be acrylic in some way, but they have an AB finish on them. And yeah, it's not so great. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but just not feeling wow on it, you know? I guess you could use it as a wrap bracelet. You could use it as a necklace. It's pretty, so we'll just say $3 on that. This is a nice piece, faux pearl. You can rub them together. If they're smooth, they're usually faux pearls. If they're very gritty, they could be real. It has a silver tone lobster clasp. Beautiful red colors in between. That is glass because it feels cold. These are nicely done. Oh, it is on a little bit of a stretch. That's interesting. And look at the beads here. They're marbly. Okay, this is a great example. You see how, well, there's a little bit of metal color there just because it's rubbing against that bead. But you see how it's white on the inside? That's a great indicator that this is dyed howlite because there's some white showing. And if it was truly a red stone, it would be red all the way through unless the stone has white variations in it. So I'm not sure what it is, but we do know that that's a sign that it's dyed. Or it could be painted on the outside, piece of glass that's got some red paint on the outside. Not to take away from how pretty it is though, for sure. Yeah, I think they did some really pretty painting on the outside, see the gold? paint there. So we have a vintage sort of 1980s look for sure. A black bead here with red, the filigree silver tone, the pearls. It's very pretty. Nothing wrong with it at all. It's in good shape. If you like that 80s look and these, oh, these beads are really showing really pretty in the sun. It is 22 inches, and we'll say $6 on the pretty red and pearl necklace. Okay, what we got now, we have a stretch bracelet. It's green enamel with lots of little, it looks like a cookie lee, very cookie lee to me. Lots of little rhinestones. Very flowery, with sort of a brassy look to it. I wonder if it's marked inside Cookie Lee, because I know that the pieces usually have a little hang tag. So how would we know if it's a Cookie Lee piece if there's no hang tag? Maybe it'd be marked inside? Not seeing a name. Hmm. That is a really good Cookie Lee style bracelet. Does need some help on the stretch. So, gosh, what should I do with this? Be a great craft jar item, but it's so pretty. I hate to put it in craft. Well, I'm going to have to because the stretch isn't good enough. Nice, really nice piece. Okay, in you go into the jewelry hospital.
get some TLC. Ooh, what's this? Look at this clip-on. This is fabulous. It looks like stone. It feels acrylic. By the way, when you're opening clip-ons, if you don't know already, I learned the hard way, you want to just, how can I say, you just want to like push down and turn it and not rather than just yank on it because you could pop it off. That's a nice earring. It is most likely acrylic, acrylic, I'm sure. So that's gonna go wait for its mate. I like the brass on the back. And what are you? Oh, this is an earring. This is very lovely. It's getting a little bit darker out and my light is starting to change, but look at this, huh? We have some turquoise color down here and these are green, like a jade green. They actually look a little jade to me. And oh, it's escaping me what the name of this type of bead is. I can't think of it. But there's rhinestones around here and it's an older lever back. So that's a pretty one. It's gonna wait for its mate. I'll see if I can find it quickly, but I'm not seeing it off the bat. Yeah, but I see a lot of great things in here. Ooh, lots of yummy things. Okay, look at this shell piece. Look at this gorgeous carved shell. Ooh, wow. That's a beauty. That's a mother of pearl, right? Look how carved it is. And it's like two-sided. I think it has a little age to it because the cord looks a little bit older. Oh, and neat. There's this little stone piece. Oh, that's also a shell. Definitely a shell. Oh, that's so pretty. So the cord actually is in great shape here, but then when you get to the end of it, it's a little bit frizzled. This is shell too. Oh my gosh. The barrel clasp is carved shell. That is wild. This must be an oldie. So we have a carved barrel clasp on a cord. The cord's nice, but a little frizzy in different areas. Someone could put it on a different cord but you've got this carved shell and this big shell piece. That's so pretty. I'm gonna say, oh, the, the shell itself has gotta be worth $20. So let's say, I'll say 18 on that. Might as well do the spiel, right? If you see something you love, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And let me know the name of the video, the episode number, the um, timestamp where the pieces are that you loved, and the prices. And I'll be able to find them much easier. So we have another very handsome toggle clasp. Doesn't look to me to be sterling, but it's silver tone nonetheless. And I like the bead cap ends. Now, what are these? I would say these are shell. Bits of shell that have been painted. Like a midnight blue. Yeah. It's very long. And you can, let's see, can you toggle it any other place but there? I wouldn't suggest it because, yeah, I don't think so. So you'd have to toggle it where it is. Or you could take out a link somewhere and adjust it how you want to, but it's pretty long. Midnight blue dyed shell or painted shell necklace, and we'll say $5 on that. I see a statement piece in here. Good old statement necklaces. It's, it seems to be in very good condition. 
Then we have a little hitchhiker here. Cutie. All right, so green statement necklace, gold tone chain. I like that. It has different shapes to it. It is acrylic. The gold tone around the edge is in great shape, and it's a little bit textured. That's nice, like a rope design almost. It's a lovely green, um, not minty, just a soft green. And here's the chain, good condition, gold tone. And this is the extender, lobster clasp. So let's give a measurement. Let's see if someone would love this beauty. It is about 19, 20, it's 20 inches in length fully uh, with the full extension. And this is the back. The statement necklace will do six dollars. Really good shape. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, this is a cool earring. Looks like it's on sterling. And I will, oh my gosh, I think this is glass. Or it might be, would, would that be crystal? Not sure, we'll have to check it out, but that really looks sterling. You go wait for your mate. For those of you that are new and haven't watched my videos yet, I'm gonna go get my earring board so you can know about the wait for your mate. Okay, super, I got to clean up a little bit on the table. So this is what I'm talking about. I heard somewhere someone say they took a piece of styrofoam and as they opened a box of jewelry or whatever they were doing, and they found an earring, they would put one on the board until the other one showed up. So I was doing this, and when we were waiting for the mate, we would say, wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you got to wait for your mate. And we ended up with a little jingle song. So we found a pair here. Red color. They're acrylic. So cute, huh? And another glass. I think they're acrylic. They're in good condition. And I am going to... Now we don't have a mate on there waiting. <laughs> we have a pair of earrings for $4. Really nice faceted. Nice and clean. Good shape. Okay, what have we got next? There we go. Wow, we have this beautiful turquoise color chain. Oh, it's got some wear right there. See? Where a little bit of the enamel came off. Oh, and it's a, a J. Crew, too. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a nice piece. I wonder if that would show. Okay, so it's it's worn right here. But if you're wearing it out in the front, yeah, the front part looks great. So if someone doesn't mind a little bit of wear towards the back, you have a great J. Crew necklace in turquoise enamel over like a silver gold tone chain. It's quite long. Very long. You could probably double it for a choker. And I'm going to say $5 on the J. Crew. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty baby. Wow. Feels like glass. It's a clip on. It's gold tone. It's in great shape. Can you see how they wire it to this back piece? So they take wires and they put them through the beads. And then they wire it all somehow to here. Really nice work. Let's see. Miss Prissy confirms that it's glass. Hmm. Maybe not. 
Yes, the center one is glass, but the others are acrylic. And th these are gold tone beads also. That's nice. We'll see what happens with that one. And another pretty baby. It's black with like a citrine color stone, silver tone. And the earring hook looks great. And let's confirm that this is glass. Yeah, those are glass beads. So here's what we talk about when we talk about prong set. You see those little prongs right there? Those are made to look like it's prong set, but they're not actually wrapping over the stone. The stones are glued in, and they put those little nubbies there to make it look prong set. So it's a great imitation of prong set stone. And I love that the backs are open so a lot of light can get through. It's a beautiful earring. We'll put it on a board and wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. Oh, I like these beads. This is one of my favorite colors. Oh, is this a J. Crew also? It is. I better look close so I don't say the wrong thing. It's a J. Crew. This turquoise color bead. It is, feels cold. That's so cute. I love it. It's very boho, right? Bohemian for beach. Oh my gosh, for the longest time, I didn't know what boho meant. And I'd even ask people in their, on their YouTube channel, like in the comments, can someone tell me what boho means? And I don't, I didn't know how to tell if someone responded at that time, so. I had to find out on my own. I'm trying to get this little bit of something off, but my uh, wipey thing is too dry. So let me see if I can get that off before we go any further with that. We'll come back to that. Nice, though. Another J. Crew piece. That's a good sign. This is a very pretty crystal, milky color stone necklace with a silver tone clasp. I put it on the end because I don't want that little extender to keep wrapping around everything. So it really helps to not have them tangled again. So that's pretty. It's got some gray and some milky color. It's quite long. And yeah, it's very lightweight. Probably too close. But I'm not liking, I think it's a little bit maybe too dirty so I think I'm going to either give it a bath or just I don't know maybe cut some of the beads off but I don't like how dirty it is so sorry about that one this is pretty it's got like root beer color beads the last time I said that they were amethyst but these are not this is glass beads and like a brown root beer color with a gold tone ornate bead cap end and an older spring ring clasp. So maybe this is a vintage piece. And it's got some really pretty orange and gold tone beads down here. Nice, very nice. Give you a measurement. If you love it, I hope you love it. If that's your style and you love it, it's 15 inches. And for the glass seed bead necklace, we'll do $4. I see a bobble that I really, really like. But can I get it out? Yes. Okay. Look at this. I love that color. It's just such a happy color. It's on a silver tone chain that's in great condition. I gotta get some things out of the way here. It's gonna keep focusing on it. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Oh, wow. This one is gonna be a keeper, I think. Or what they call catch and release. You wear it for a while, and then later on you pass it on. It's so cute. I really love it. 
It's a lovely, lovely color. The chain's in great shape. It's Rolo chain. So Rolo is this style. I don't know my chains that well, but I do know a Rolo chain, and people love the Rolo chains. Quite a long extension. Oh, I'll give a price, and then if somebody doesn't buy it, maybe I'll wear it for a little bit. But I do have to keep the lights on, as they say, and pay for all these boxes. So it's a 20, about a 21 inch, fully extended. Again, silver tone, terrific condition, and listen to these baubles. Now I'll get closer so you can hear. Love the sound of the baubles. Just a beautiful, sweet piece. I will say $15. If someone takes it for that, great. If not, maybe I'll wear it for a little bit. Okay, let's get moving. Oh, I found the other one of these. So that's a really great clip-on. Doesn't appear to be like 30s or 1930s or 40s or 50s. It looks more like a 1980s piece. But nonetheless, there's a pair I could probably use for my vintage stuff that I do on eBay. So we'll put those aside for now. Wow, this is quite a piece. Look at this bracelet. It's full of lots of fiery red rhinestones. Nice red color here. And I love the gold tone to it. It's like a a really rich gold tone. I hope you can see it well because it's pretty. Textured here, like an antiqued gold tone. It's in great shape. I don't see a thing wrong with it at all. It's a clamper. Don't see any stones missing. These two are black. The rest are all red. Wow. I hope you love it. It's a pretty one. Hey, kitty cat, what are you doing on my couch? Getting into my jewelry. It's two and a half this way. And two and a little bit that way. And I will say $6 on the bracelet. Super condition. Oh, I like this too. This is an enamel vintage earring in like a nautical type design. It's got sort of ropes coming around it. Oh, and look at that. Extra texture on the bottom. It's, it's kind of a gold tone. And I don't know what these type of piercings are called. I forgot. But that's a nice earring. I like that. I love the vintage. And it's a good size, too. So you can wait for your mate. And we'll have a look and see if you show up. This is pretty. This would go great with that necklace. That bobble that I just showed. It's um, a turquoise color earring with some copper. Turquoise and copper. Isn't that beautiful? It is acrylic. It's in terrific condition. The wire appears also to be copper, or at least copper color. I was looking to see if the disc was the same on both sides, and it is. Oh, that's such a pretty earring. Oh, I see the other one right here. Oh, that's great. Okay, so we have these copper and turquoise dangly earrings. And they are in super shape. And I will say $10 on these. Yeah, the bottoms of them, I just have to show you because they're so pretty. Have all these different variations. Very lovely. And the other color, by the way, is like an amber. Just want to make sure I'm being thorough. I see some nice silver tone pearls. Do they have any certain clasp, or what's up with these? I don't see a clasp, but they're nicely done. 
they are knotted in between. Come on, camera. Let's see if I can get it to go a little brighter. But I don't want it to freak out either. So they're knotted in between. They do feel like glass with a very nice finish on them. Teeny bit of wear, if you can see there. But I'm not seeing scratch. I'm just seeing a little teensy bit of wear. They're quite long. You can double. Even when you double them, they're still like a collar length. So these are very nice. Cold glass pearls, a beautiful silver color. And I love that they used a silver color cord so that the pearls can really show what they are. So let's say $5 on the pearls. This is just sparkling and inviting me to look at it. Look at that, huh? Isn't that a beauty? I'm trying to think if they're glass. They feel a little bit cold, but wow. They're so glittery. This is a long necklace, too. Oh, I see. It's because they're so faceted. And they're knotted in between, too. Come on, phone, my baby. Come on, my baby phone. Let's see. Let me get my hand out of the way and zoom in. Oops, I put it down darker. Now, can you see how they're faceted? And they just reflect all that light. So they have a coating on them that's very, very shiny. They're knotted in between with a off-white color string and just quite shiny and brilliant. Very, very long. I'll twist it up to double it so you can see how long it is. Nice and heavy, so I do believe they're glass. It's in great shape. And for this piece, we'll say $6. Looks like we're getting a lot of necklaces in that, this, bo this, bo this bag, one of four bags. Just when I say that, I pick up a bracelet. So this is a stretch. Oh, but it's seen better days. And look at this gorgeous bead. Oh, someone's going to have fun with that in the craft jar. Black glass bead, amber color glass. Really nice pearls. A little bit of ick on there, though. I'm going to go get another white. Okay, so I got it a little cleaned up and ready for our craft jar. Oops, there's still a little bit of scooby dee doobies on there. Scooby-Doo's. Okay. Into the Amanda jar with the lovely, lovely foil art glass bead. And what else have I been saving for you guys this week that I thought would be fun? Oh, we have this great big shell earring. Dyed green shell. It's gorgeous, but there's only one so I think I'm going to put that in there. These long earrings. I thought this roundel part piece would be fun. Or maybe even just these beads. Or, where's the other one? Because I think there's two. I was going to say, or maybe you just want to wear them. Because there's not a thing wrong with them. Okay, Sherry, where is it? Did Miss Prissy eat it? All right, well, this is going to go in the craft jar. It's got some fun chains and things on there. And, and, and you got to love the pearls. Yeah, I've been piling things up here for you guys, so I guess it kind of got a little too piled. And now this is stuck here. Come on, baby, don't you know we're trying to make a video? There. Okay, so these faux, be these <laughs> faux beads, faux pearls with the chain. I think they're a pretty color. I love the brassy chain that they're on and just thought that would be fun to craft with. Also, there's this really nice glass beaded bracelet. It's got some Aurora Borealis beads some really nice red glass, different color glass. 
either made to look like, um, what am I thinking of? The red stone, not ruby. Oh my gosh, garnet. Made to look like garnet, or maybe they are. Let's have a quick look. Can't hurt. So that's glass. And that's glass. Yeah, so they're beautiful glass beads. Some hematite. I think it just has a problem with the stretch, so I'm going to put those red beads in there. And a lovely blue earring. Also got some dyed blue shell and some silver beads. Maybe someone can use the, the wires. Who knows? Who knows? I'd love to see what you guys make with these things. But I know you'll turn it into something beautiful. And I also love to put in genuine stone. So I have these earrings. Again, not a thing wrong with them, but I just like to make a fun craft jar. See that, like a mustardy yellow colored stone? Maybe a dyed quartz or something, and they're on a Rolo chain. So that would be fun. And what are you? Why did I have you in craft? It's got a name tag on it. Loft. And tailored loft. But I trust myself. If it was in craft, there must be a reason. But here I am looking again. I don't see anything missing. And it's beautiful. Or maybe it's just in the wrong place. Okay, I'll put this to the side. Sorry if I got you all excited about that one. These are gorgeous crystal beads, faux pearls. See the round dells in between? Round dells, from what I've learned, are beads that have um, crystals in them and a round shape. But look at those, aren't they beautiful? So again, because of the stretch, I'm gonna put those in our Amanda, Amanda craft jar. Oh, this is nice too. This is off of a vintage necklace that didn't make it. I took the ribbon off, but look at these beads. They gorgeous. There's a lot of them in there. Faux pearls and just lovely. I thought maybe someone could make a beautiful pair of earrings or whatever you want to do. And we've got this pair of black earrings. Just to add some more different color. More wires and silver tone. Put those in. We're getting there. We are getting there on the Amanda jar. I wanted to put this bracelet in because look at that, huh? But I might have to wait till the next one and I'm not sure it's even going to fit in the jar. I do have fatter, wider jars that maybe I could um, use for the next time. And you can always use a good pair of hoops to maybe glue some stones to or whatever you want to do. So there's a couple of silver tone hoop earrings. They might have been from Mocha, not sure. And what else? Yeah, this is a real pearl bracelet here. Those are real pearls, they're very gritty. And look at that. So I'm not gonna put this in the craft jar, but it does need a new, does it need a new stretch? Yeah. So, wow. Real pearls, gorgeous with beautiful AB and roundels. It just needs a new elastic inside. So I'm gonna say on the genuine pearl bracelet, $20. And if you put a new stretch in it, you've got yourself a real pearl bracelet, or you could make all kinds of things with that. And those are crystal. So 20 on that, gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. And this, I think, is a pendant. Not sure, but I thought all oh, those cute little flowers. There's a crystal inside. 
and these are acrylic. Someone could do something great with that. Or even just hang it on a chain. Yeah, there's the bail. Have a beautiful necklace. So we'll put that there on the top. And all right, let's get back to our unbagging for a little bit longer and then I'll sign off and we'll have to do a part two on this bag. Okay, we've got, ooh, this feels like real pearls. They feel either like really well made or, nope, they're not, but they're nice. This is a well-made faux pearl necklace. They are knotted in between. And check out this, this clasp. Isn't that wild? It's beautiful. I've never seen that. Let me see if it magnets at all. So for those of you learning about jewelry, one of the tools you can use to see if something is sterling or gold is first try the magnet test. Now, sometimes sterling does still magnet. It depends on the piece, on the thickness, but I'm saying as much as this magnets, it's probably not sterling, but it has a beautiful sterling plating on it for sure. So let me get a measurement because that looks so real. That's a great set of pearls and the, I can't say enough about the clasp. It's nice and heavy too. The clasp is. So it's a 16 inch gorgeous necklace. I wonder if you could wear that in the front. Like, would you wear that in the front? That's kind of cool to wear the clasp towards the front. Little polish if you'd like polished sterling. And you could polish it up a bit. But I'm going to say $12 on that. Very, very nice. Very good glass pearl necklace. Nice pearls in here. Oh, look, we have a matching bracelet to our necklace. It has, it's a bit stiff on the stretch, but I'm not worried about it. You can roll this on and it has a strong, very strong, um, what do I want to say, wire inside, not wire, but string. So I'm not worried about that one. And look, it matches this necklace. So whatever I said for the necklace, if someone would like the matching bracelet, Let's just add another $5. Maybe there'll be some earrings. And if you just want one or the other, then you've got the price on each one. You can rewind the video to see what the price was. Oh, these are so sweet. Clip-ons. These are very, very sweet. They are gold tone finish that's a little worn, but that's to be expected in vintage sometimes. But check out those flowers. Is that precious? What kind of flowers are those? You guys that know a lot about flowers. I know about vegetables and how to grow lots of food, but I'm not great at growing flowers. Or I'm not much on growing flowers. These are so pretty. I don't know what to say. They are not porcelain. They're on acrylic. And they're just adorable. Now, because the camera can be deceiving, let me give you a measurement on how wide they are. They're about an inch wide. And they are clip-ons, nice and light. So if you wear them, they're not going to bother you. And the clips work great. Oh, these are so sweet. I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to say $12 on these beauties with the right dress or outfit. Those are going to look stunning. So fun. I like those. Woohoo! This is a glass bracelet. I like this silver tone bead there. It's got some flowers on it. And it's a lobster clasp. So let's do our little magnet test. It's hitchhiking on itself here. And see if it magnets. Now, if it's a spring ring clasp, and maybe even some of the lobster clasps, it could magnet on the clasp because there's a little spring in it. So you want to remember that when you're testing. So I'm not getting any magnetism. 
Let me see if there's any mark. Yeah, it is, it's 925. So it does say that it's sterling. It's lovely glass. I wonder if that's sterling too. Here, I'll help you to look at the, the mark on the bracelet. Can you see it now? So that's nice. It's always great to have sterling silver findings on anything. So I'm gonna say, let's first, let's see if these are any kind of stone. They are, look at that. I was just gonna assume they were glass, but you see the sterling silver findings made me stop and think, could this be a stone? So that adds to things. And I just noticed there's real pearls in it too. So I'm gonna say, oh wow. I was gonna say that maybe they're citrine. I do think they're citrine, even though they're going a little higher. I'll tell you exactly why I think that. Yeah, see it's testing in the amethyst citrine on that bottom mark on the presidium. But the times that it goes higher is because the beads are next to a wire. And the wire, the metal, will make the machine go up a little higher. So you have to take that into consideration. So we have a citrine bracelet, sterling silver, with real pearls. This is so pretty. Ooh, I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted. Hey, my bracelets aren't showing today. Wouldn't that look great with my stuff? Okay, don't talk yourself into keeping it, Sherry. Oh, it's really a pretty one. Well, that's nice. I'm glad we found this. Nice, nice piece. Citrine, pearl, sterling. And it is, it's hard to measure it because it's turning on me a little bit. Seven and a quarter. And I'm going to say on the citrine, sterling, real pearl bracelet, seven and a quarter inches, I'll do $16. Ooh, I found my other clip-on. That mustard color, faux sort of, some kind of stone. So that's cool. And what else do we have? Oh, we've got this big statement necklace. And it is a very dark smoky color. Oh, and look at how there's many different shapes to it. Look how these are very crackly looking. That's pretty, huh? I mean, they are supposed to look like that, right? I would say so, because many of them are. It has a lobster clasp that's on a gunmetal color chain, big Rolo type chain. This is nice. It, they are acrylic, if I didn't tell you that statement piece and it's lovely. Let's see what it measures too. 18, a little over 18 inches fully extended. And just so you see that it has like a Y drop to it in the middle. Beautiful. Jewelry sounds. You know I gotta do my jewelry sounds. You know why? Because I would do them if you weren't even here with me love it. So let's say $10 on the statement necklace, the topazy gunmetal statement necklace. Okay, I'm excited. We found some sterling. Oh, wait a minute. Does this go with it? It's not crackly. Wait, the top ones are. This might be a matching earring. Okay, come back here, buddy. Yes, because look at that. Oh, we have a matching earring. Let's see if I can find the other one. Come on out, come on out, wherever you are. So we can see you all at once. Hmm. Not seeing it just yet. Aw. I'm sure it'll be here. These boxes are so good about having the second one. Okay. Oh, wait, I think I found it. 
I did. I found it. And it's also gunmetal. Awesome. We have matching earrings with the necklace. So we'll add another $5 for the matching earrings. Because you got to love a matching set. I mean, how often do you find that? So that's worth it for the matchings. have to remember to keep those together. Won't be hard because they're they're so big that you can't lose those. This is cute. Look at this apple. It's an earring with the little leaves. That's a sweetie. It feels like it's acrylic. It doesn't feel like it's jade. Let me have a look at the... You also want to check your earring backs and just see if any of them are sterling or gold, especially if you have gold or sterling earrings that you're selling and you want to provide the backs with them. So that's cute. That's going to go wait for its mate. Hope it stays on the board. It's such a heavy little thing. Ooh, this is cute gold tone with a copper ring and a blue textured disc as well. It's kind of like um, brass. Yeah, very brassy. I love the different colors. This is like a muted brass tone, gold hook, the blue, the copper, and there's a little bead on the bottom. That's cute. I'm going to look at the hooks and see if they say anything, because they're all gold. So they could be gold-plated, or they might be marked. I'm not seeing a mark, but they're in good shape, and it's going to wait for its mate. Maybe I have to change that to wait for your buddy or something, because I don't want to wear it out. All right, so we have another earring that's Southwestern style, or maybe like Middle Eastern. Looks a little bit, um, what's that other metal? Not sure. No, it's like painted. It's painted over to give it like an age look. But that's cute, we'll put that up there. And what have we here? This looks like real pearls that have a little bit of an AB coating. Yeah, can always tell by, yes, they're definitely gritty. So that's cute. The stretch isn't, yeah, the stretch is bad. Oh, the craft jar is gonna get some more real pearls. That's nice. I'm happy for whoever gets the Amanda. Let's move on and see what this pretty baby is. Oops, a little tiny earring jumped out at me. Itsy bitsy little blue glass beads on it. That's a tiny thing. It's cobalt blue glass beads. I'm going to see if it says 925 on it because it does look sterling. I think it is marked, but it's a little bit worn. So we'll have to maybe test that. So back to this guy. I'm just looking at my camera to see how my light is. Uh-oh, is it broken? Hmm. Or is it just tied in a knot? Oh, wow. It. You know what? I think it's, it's a little bit magnetic because why? Because it's hematite? Oh, that's wild. There's like a bead stuck to it because it's a little bit magnetic. I'm not sure if the hematite's making it magnetic or the wire. Like, why would a wire be magnetic? I don't know, but it keeps sticking to itself. What am I going to do with this? Oh, it's got all kinds of chips of all these different stones. Wow, this is something. Aqua color, red, hematite. Let's test some of these and see what they say. Hi, Miss Prissy. I shouldn't leave you on for so long, but you know how hard it is for Sherry to stop looking at jewelry. Okay, let's see if these are crystal. That one says glass. 
that one says glass. That one goes up a little bit towards the quartz, so that could be the aqua, I should tell you which ones I'm testing. So the aqua color one, test as um, in the quartz area a little bit, we'll have to see. What about the yellow one? More like glass to me. And the red one? I don't know. They could be dyed quartz, but I think I'd rather err on the side of caution and say that they're glass. Yeah, let's do that. Not to mention that there's no real clasp on it. Yeah, it has like this wire and it keeps... <laughs> I don't know, what should we do? It's got beautiful colors, but it kind of sticks to itself. It'd make a great bracelet. If you bend these pieces down, the wire looks very sterling to me. So if you did this as a bracelet, oh, but then you'd have to, duh, you'd have to open it up and do that. So I don't know, why don't I say, five dollars for this piece and someone can do something fantastic with it or whatever but the colors are beautiful really beautiful oh wow this is quite the memory wire bracelet look how long it is it has every color on it okay let's find the end tiny root beer color seed beads into purple then green glass then some blue. Oh boy. I wanted to like do that in order nicely, but it's going boing, 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 boing. Okay, let's get it situated. Lovely colors though. Silvery and blue and all kinds. There you go. So you've got some bright blue some smoky blue, some amber color, the green, the purple. That's a really nice wrap bracelet for sure, all glass. And let me see what it would measure, even though you know it could expand. It's still good to have an idea. Two and a half across. And I'll say $8 on the all glass wrap bracelet. Okay, we got another tassel. A pink tap. Ooh, this is a pretty necklace. Look at that stone. That looks like a tiger's eye to me. Look how romantically lovely this looks. Wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought they had like a tassel on the end, but it's actually the other one that fell off. Sorry. Okay. Looks like a tiger's eye. There's a little gem here. You can steam these and they go right back. But isn't that romantic? And look at these sparkly, beautiful beads here. With the gold tone in between. And then it has some type of chain that I don't know. But it's very thin, pretty. And then it ends with this. Look at this, like, self-adjusted crochet thing so you can tighten it as you want it to it's really long that's a beautiful necklace gorgeous that must be a tiger's eye and these are glass so yes very pretty very romantic super long necklace with pink beads on the top I should have said that and it looks great I'm going to say $6 on the romantic, sweet little necklace that you just have to steam that piece and you're okay. Okay, it just came to me da Damascene. I don't think this is true Damascene, but that's what this type of metal decoration is called. I mean, it could be true Damascene. I don't know, but I think true Damascene is quite expensive and not sure but they're 
pierced earrings. We found one earlier. They have really beautiful seed beads on them that are so pearly. I'm going to give these little beads a test to see if they might be jade. It's going to be hard to do because they're tiny and I have to put that little tiny stick on it. But I mean, little pearl thing. Yeah, they're glass. But they're made to look jade. These are gorgeous. I mean, I wish I could. Well, the camera's doing a great job at the pearliness of those beads. And the beautiful roundel on the top. Lever backs. Gorgeous pair of earrings. Wow. They are like four and a quarter inches long. Let's see if they're marked at all. I don't see a mark. But let's say on these beauties, we'll do hmm, $12. I mean, that's a lot of earring and a lot of style, so I think 12 is good. Okay, what else, quickly, quickly. I see some, I'm dying to know if these are glass or not, because there's a couple of pairs in the bag, and they look like glass to me. Glass earrings, that's kind of cool. Maybe they were poured out, you know, because it's kind of flat on the back. And these look very sterling. I'm trying to see if they're marked. When they start to get that beautiful patina, it can be hard to see the mark sometimes. I'm not sure. I'd have to spend time looking. Or we could just test them quickly and see. On this one, they sure do look sterling to me. And they feel like glass. And they're green, like a beautiful grassy green. I know that looks on the camera like it's cracked, but it's not. It's just the way the glass is formed. You see what I mean? See how it looks cracked right there? I was like, oh no. But it's just how it was poured. So these are really cool. I think we should just test them quickly. But I might want to wait until I get the other ones with them because I did see another pair. Where did the other glassy ones go? I think we looked at one of them. Oh, I know what I want to do while I'm looking for that. Looks like one of these AB crystal something or others in here broke. So we got some gorgeous beads we can add to our craft jar. And then we can weigh it and be done with our craft jar. Yeah, it looks like a little bracelet maybe that broke in here. Oh, and here's another one that's not broken. So you can see it in its glory. So beautiful. I love these crystal things. So, okay, I'm not going to find every single one right now. But I did want to put the ones that I do find in the craft jar. Looks like we got, oh, maybe eight or so, maybe ten. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to put them in the Amanda craft jar. That's a lot of fun waiting to happen. We have the Cookie Lee type bracelet in there, the shells. The real pearls, the faux pearls, green, all kinds of colors. I think that might be it for that jar. And I went and got my scale so we can weigh it and see what it weighs. I used to go by the weight to identify the jar, but um, I don't do that anymore. Now we just put a name on them. And it's been much easier. Okay, Amanda, you're 10 on the button. That's wild. 10 ounces on the nose. And that is $20 for the craft jar. So I want to remind you, please don't forget to subscribe. 
And if you like the video, go ahead and give a click on the thumbs up before you forget, because I always forget unless I do it right away. I hope you like the video, and I hope you'll click the bell so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. We've got lots of jewelry in the bag to finish up. I see some vintage pieces in here. I see some stone pieces. So we've got some fun to have for sure. So thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you were here. And I look forward to you coming back the next time when we build another craft jar. And we have lots more fun looking at our jewelry. So thank you and see you next time at the Bobbles.